Hey everybody, I'm Grant Holloway, two-time world champion in the 110 meter hurdles, world champion indoors, and world record holder indoors. All right, let's have some fun. All right, so I think this is backed by popular demand. Everybody wanted me to do the <laughs> the see-through of how this all happened and, you know, first things first, I guess Hansel decided to start the drama. So. Um, I'm setting my blocks at this time, literally like setting my blocks. I can't see him, but I could hear him. So I'm setting my blocks and I just hear this loud clatter at two. Um, obviously, um, here I am at the, I think that's the fourth hurdle. And I saw him kind of like, yeah, this is not well. So, I mean, at that point you can't really say much. It's kind of just like you go through, you, <laughs> you hope him the best, but you got, you got to stay locked in at, at, at the task at hand. So, obviously, he's doing that. <laughs> Even the fan knew something was wrong. <laughs> he pointed at him. And I get back to my blocks, and literally, I see him laying down. I'm like, it's only be like one or two things. Like, either he's hurt or he's not going to run. So, obviously, time goes by, and we're all standing there. And... That was that was the first part of the four piece drama that's gonna unfold in this race. So um yeah, Hansel go and then the funny part about it is like after the race, like I obviously reached out to Hansel and and and, and all my press conference and, and, and interviews, I was kind of just like, you know, I hope all is well, get healthy, but at this point I'm literally just trying to stay locked in at the task at hand. Um, I've been I had just ran my season's best probably about like an hour ago. Um, but this is also the same year Devin ran 1284. Um, so Devin was, was, was doing really well. Trey Cunningham was running really, really well. Um, I mean, that, that was, we, we, had, we had the possibility to do um, a nice sweep. Um, but like I said before, more, more drama is, uh, is, is on the way. So um, we, 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 we had the possibilities to do everything, you know, and we knew what we were capable of, but then, um, as everybody knows, the the dreaded, uh, I guess I call it the, the DQ rule. <laughs> but there I am. I'm locked in. I'm ready to go. A lot of, lot of he should have had one. He did this. This happened this year. So it's just overall me just trying to, you know, stay focused at the task at hand. Um, getting ready to get in the blocks. All right, so we're getting the blocks. Um, Devin's to my left. Um, Trey, well, Hansel was to my right, but Trey's to my right. So on my right side, I kind of know I got a little bit more space to hurdle. I can hurdle a little bit freely on that right side. Um, but I kind of figured if I get out like the way I could, I'll, I'll be fine. Um, so <laughs> the gun goes up. Grant Holloway has his famous uh, Famous set position, and you hear the double gun. And I knew it was actually a really, really good start because the way I just came off the pedals, I felt, I felt amazing. Like if I had that one, I would, I think that would have really, really been a special day. But yeah. and this is where part two of the whole drama starts to unfold. Devin's walking back, trying to, trying to get in the race. Basically, he said he got to go now. And Devin's not the type of guy to have confrontation or anything, so he's going to walk off. Feel for him, but, I mean, it is what it is. The show must go on. The show must go on. So at this point, part, part three of the whole drama, everybody in the stands is pissed. Like, there's booze going on, there's everything going on. So, like, literally, as I'm getting the blocks, I'm like, guys, just be quiet just for a little bit. Just be quiet just for a little bit. So, like, literally, I'm telling everybody before I get in the blocks, just, just, shh, shh. Let's try to get it as quiet as possible. Like, I understand the circumstances. I understand that literally two 
you literally had world number one at the time drop off and world number two at the time drop off. Like, that is unheard of. Um, and then there's Trey and I. And literally, I'm like, this is, feels like an accelerated practice run. Nobody's on my left. Nobody's on my right. And literally, I'm just like, all right, just react to the gun and go because you're not going to be able to feel anybody. So I get up, go. It's finally off. Great start to hurdle one. And then two, I get going. I'm, I know I'm in the lead at this point, but now I'm literally like, all right, just get to the finish line. I take a peek to my right and lean at the line. Thir another 13-0. And uh, I, was, I was ecstatic because literally at that point, I see my mom, I see my dad, I see my girl. I literally just start going crazy. And then I literally did the little, the, the curry, the curry chant. I put everybody to sleep. Put all the put all the doubters to sleep, and at the time, no allows and everybody like all across the NCAA, everybody's doing my my celebration. So I literally was like, all right, y'all have to remember, like I started this. So that's when I was like, this is my. Uh, you could put the little bleep sound at that point. You could be like, this is my, this is my shit. Like literally. So um, we go back celebrating. I get my medal, and I was I was ecstatic. I was excited. I was, I was, I was having such a good time, man. You know, to win a gold at home, in front of literally your country, is is remarkable. Trey had an amazing season, um, and yeah, I, at that point I wasn't even, I wasn't even tripping. That's Coach Dave. He he watched me grow up. He was actually my um, my college roommate's coach, so we we had our special moment. Um, there's my, there's my beautiful mom right there. Man, it was, it was remarkable. That's my, um, my beautiful girlfriend, her parents. It was, it was good. It was good. There's Trey Cunningham's mom right there. And look, man, it just, it was fun. You can see it from the start. Like, literally, I, I just felt like I had it all the way through. And... You know, obviously, it's some parts out of the race I could have definitely done better, but at that point, you could just be like, look, I, I made it. Oh, that was part four of the drama, literally. We started off with eight people, and five people went through the finish line. Uh, that was <laughs> Lane, Shane, Shane fell off at that point. Um, but, yeah, literally, we started off with literally eight people and five come through the finish line at the, at the end of the race. So, I mean, at the whole time, I had control of the race, and... You know, it was a little bit of my form part, but at that point, when you get when you get to that stage, it does not matter. It don't matter as long as you get the finish line before everybody else. That is that is the key, and that's all I that's all I really worried about. That's all I really cared about. So, definitely happy, definitely ecstatic, definitely excited to say the least. But um, you know, something about number two that doesn't hit like number one. I tell you that much. Or number three, if you put it that case, but definitely, definitely, definitely excited. Me and um, me and baby boy Trey going across. That's my that's my big dog queen right there. Me and him have our moment. That's his beautiful wife Jill. Yeah, Coach Queen and I, we was we was having a great time. Literally, he came out there just for that event. So it's a it's a good time. And I had already told him I was like, yeah, when I come back home in October, we're gonna celebrate the right way. Me and I think it's I think that was Bigfoot. Yeah, it was Bigfoot. Me and Bigfoot had a moment. And that celebration lap took so <laughs> it took so long. I was more tired from the celebration lap than the damn <laughs> than the damn uh, track itself. The track uh, the 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 one ten hurdle race itself. So we did that, and then literally at this point too, shot put competitions going on. So I was literally just like, all right, cool, like. We get to watch Ryan and, and Joe and everybody go through. So, literally, it was it was good. I think coming up at the top of this curve, like maybe like 175, I see my um another one of my high school coaches, Coach Sauer, and and his and his wife, you know, trying to get some respect to Jamaica because obviously, they they have the Olympic the Olympic gold, um in, in their country and I, of course I done ran against. Omar, Hansel, at that at that point, um, Orlando Bennett, Ronald Levy, a, a, a good group of them. So just going through everything. That's the that's the amazing Joanna, Joanna Hayes. 
another Olympic champion. It's just so much, so much just raw USA talent out there, man. It was, it was amazing. And I mean, like you see what, what just having preparation and, and dedication and consistency and discipline, how all that stuff goes through. Um, everybody from Team USA had an, had an amazing meet. So, you know, I'm very, very, very excited, very, very excited about it. And um, it was, it was good. It was good. That's it.